cells are the basic unit of life. They're active functioning entities, which means that they've got energy requirements and they produce waste products as a result of their functioning. Cells have many other commonalities as well. For example, they're all surrounded by an outer cell membrane, which regulates the internal environment of the cell and regulates the passage of molecules from the external environment into the internal environment. As well as this, cells also have similar structures, such as having genetic material contained within them. However, there are vast diversities in the types of cells that are contained, both within a complex multicellular organism, like an animal or a human, but also between organisms as well. And this diversity reflects differences in both form, structure, and also function. So if we think about some different cell types in you, the human being, we can illustrate this. For example, if we think about the cells of the retina, which need to be capable of detecting light from the environment and translating that into an electrical signal that the nervous system can understand. And we compare that to the cells of the brain, the neurons, which need to be capable of receiving that signal and transmitting it elsewhere to the rest of the brain or the body. Let's take a muscle cell that might need to be capable of contracting in response to that signal so that you can act on the stimulus that you've perceived in the external environment. So all of these functions are quite different. What makes it incredible is that all of these different cell types arise from the fusion of two cells, the sperm and the egg in your case. And that fusion creates one single cell called a zygote. And from the zygote, all of the other cells that make up the human body arise. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.